Hey guys, welcome back to another speed building. Today I'm here doing a hourglass kind of house shop thing. I really hope you guys like it. If you have any suggestions for your next build, let me know in the comments below. So let's get right into it. Here we go. Alright, so for this one house right here, I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into. And I, as you can see, I was originally actually going to go into a kind of green color palette, but I decided against it, um, which you'll see right now. Uh, and I decided to go with a different theme because I felt like this house probably needed a different kind of color. And you guys have probably no idea what I'm building right here. If you saw in the intro, then you do. It's going to be an hourglass. And I was going to originally use green sand, some cactus, all that fun stuff. And I actually built this once before. It was going to be a, a thing for crafty business, but I ended up um, taking it out because I actually thought of a different idea that I was going to use here. But uh, <laughs> for the, the other thing, you guys will probably see it in an upcoming episode. It's not going to be there until a little while because um, there's a different plot going on in crafty business as of right now. Uh, I think the episode should be out by the time this one comes out so if you guys saw the whole thing with the white wolf uh that's the whole thing going on right now until uh the thing that is was was supposed to happen in this ep past episode is built so because that's going to take a while um which is sad but that's that's just how it goes i don't have builders i'm the only one building so things are going to take a little bit longer than they normally would in any other circumstance but that's that's okay and i appreciate the time going into it but for here uh i actually wish the glass was a lot clearer than it like it had because it has all those lines going with it so i wasn't able to have too much of a thing going here to um make it look a little bit clearer and i think it's a little bit too much glass but that's that's an hourglass for you it's literally in the name so I ended up switching it to purple, and I was going to also add green, but I decided against it because I, if you saw the cyan house video, I decided to do just cyan and brown. So I decided to follow that same trend here with brown and purple, using lighter browns instead of like the same dark brown, but I think that's going to change in a bit, using tans as well, um, which I use mostly in the build, like sand and such. So this was actually, I love love how this house turned out it did take longer than the cyan house though because of the fact that it's just a lot bigger and i had no idea what i was doing with this one because i i built the front before that i could confirm i built the front but i've never actually went beyond that uh and built the interior and like i said in the previous video i'm awful when it comes to filling up a house and making it very um very just not having a lot of space in it to be honest because that that was just that sh that's just bad for me um whenever I fill a house I usually make my houses very very small as you could tell by the teacup house in crafty business but I wanted to build a bigger house and that's why I've been holding off doing the cake house is because I don't know how to fill that house and because I'm gonna probably get a bunch more wolves before the series is ever going to be through that's probably going to be the main thing uh cannot confirm though <laughs> no spoilers here but i'm pretty sure you guys could see that's where it's going um there's a, there's gonna be other things going on there too but that i could truly i guess confirm i it's very very obvious with that one but uh there's gonna be a lot to it i feel like i don't really do that great of a job explaining a lot of things in the series and I think that's what's my goal so I feel like this series is a very big help on doing that like explaining what the heck is going on um which I'm not doing which is something I'm not doing right now <laughs> but um right now I'm adding the floor to the front of the house this is not going to be the final floor though because I actually don't like using the planks that much for flooring um it's just a preference on my part because I feel like it's overdone kind of I mean, not overdone necessarily, but it's like, they're meant to be used as flooring. So, of course, that's what's going to be used. So, I always try to use different flooring. It's just for the front, I wanted to use that. There's also that space I, like, was going to probably miss out on if I didn't see it right there, which is great. <laughs> um, fun fact, I was originally going to make this my main house, but I decided to go for something different and um, 
before I start building the house that I would want in Minecraft, I decided to do a color thing where I do shops on this side where the hourglass house is and uh, houses on the other side. And what I'm going to be doing is basically once I finish up doing all the colors, so this is purple right here, the next one I know what it's going to be, I'm not sure if I should say it, but I love how the next one turned out. I actually started building it um, before recording this, so that's that's just a spoiler for you guys. I love the next house. Um, but I'm going to do all the colors. I actually mixed some of them. So like blue is with light blue. I was really going to do purple and magenta here, but I decided against it. Um, so I'm actually going to do pink, magenta, and red together because they're a very similar color palette um, instead of doing them all separately. Here I'm doing the roof. I decided to try doing the same roof as like the other side. Um, very, uh, I forgot what it's called. Um... Well, I forgot what that's called, but I'm pretty sure you guys have a feeling, I have a feeling you guys know what that is, but, um, I really didn't like how the roof was turning out, and you're gonna see this a lot of me changing what the roof looks like over and over and over again. Um, I actually have, the next video I've already recorded, you guys are gonna see the same problem happening with the roof, where I'm, like, changing it over and over and over again, because I can't decide on a roof, and that is just because I have this problem where I'm adding hats to my houses. Oh, there's another spoiler. I'm adding hats to every house because that's, I love it. I love the hat design on every single house. Here I'm trying to copy the same exact roof back and forth. So this was kind of uh, tedious, tedious um, because it was just so much of uh, going back and forth here. Um, the interior, I think I did very interesting on though. So this was going to be a shop. So I was originally going to make this a house, but this is going to be a shop here. And I decided this, um, once I see the interior of the house, not the house, the building, and you guys are probably going to see it too, that it's a very, very large space. It, it looks kind of like a shopping di district. Kind of looks like a potion shop, in my opinion. Um, maybe a magic shop. Very, it's, I, I feel like it's very pretty. I was filling up the rest of the hourglass. Um, I kind of wish I had, a. Uh, some redstone going on here where um the the hourglass is continuously falling the like the the sand in it was continuously falling but I didn't feel like doing that and it was I had to be a bit more redstone savvy to do it and I'm not that much into it um I mean I do things in crafty business involving a lot of redstone as you can see by the powered up wolves and a uh, mystery potion that just came up in the next episode this episode, you guys saw it in this episode. I'm not going to talk too much about it, though, until later. So you guys are going to see that later. Um, also, the note to King I. That that was something that came up, and you guys probably have no idea what that is either. And that's not going to come up for a while either, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, here, I decided to add another hat roof. And this one I actually already knew the design for. Um... If you're wondering why I keep pausing every so often to look at the house, it's due to the fact that I actually built this house, which I said before, before, and I had a picture of it already set up. I built it on a different world because, I, as I said, uh, this was originally going to be in crafty business. I decided to take it out. Maybe I'll make a reappearance. We'll see. Um, because I really love the design of this so much. Um, and I wouldn't mind adding it. You know, I was also looking back at this footage and I realized, see how there's like a little room in this hat? I wish I added like a bedroom in here. Like the store owner has a bedroom inside the hat. It would have been so nice. And I should have lit it up because if I turn this whole, by the way, this whole game is actually in survival mode. It's just I turn mob spawning off. So if it was on, there'd be so many things in there because I never thought to light it up. Um, by the way, fun fact, every house I'm going to build here in this series, I'm actually going to use maybe later on maybe i'll even use the world to play on once in a while because we have just a bunch of houses just here um to use and it's like not being used so probably later on i'll probably use this whole area um i mean the whole area is being used anyway and uh, if i ever stream um you guys are going to be able to see this world uh for a different reason because if you actually noticed in the last episode, I'm not sure if it was very noticeable, there was a pressure plate hidden somewhere that leads to pretty much basically every behind the scenes thing in crafty business. Because I'm not about to test all these wolves to make sure they're working and not about to break the game on the crafty business server because that would just be a mess. So 
Um, so that, that's it's a confirmed thing. I'm probably gonna build I Am Here's house in uh, the series, and I'm actually excited for it. I just have no idea what I'm gonna do for it yet. I know what, I know what, you know. I'm not actually gonna say that because it's kind of a spoiler. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, so then here I, I start noticing it has it doesn't really look like a house. It's very small too, especially for how big the front is. So I started doing the wallpaper thing I did in the previous uh, building thing. Also, I wanted to point out that, yes, I'm aware the camera is very, very, very shaky with this series. Um, because I, I noticed it myself. It was very, like, awful to me that it was just, um, I can't do it normally where I have, like, a, uh, how should I say, um, another account recording as I did it so you just see me going in and out of the actual house making it and you can see the interior at the end but I don't have the access to like a uh, second account and I don't have the ability to actually use a second account while filming because my whole game would probably crash and my computer would also really blow up because uh it can't handle that much and I'm hoping in the future I could get a um a second account to be able to record better in these videos but for now this will have to do and I hope you guys don't mind that um and there's no reason in particular for uh me like saying that I just I feel like I wanted to point it out since last episode because of the fact that I didn't like how this was um recorded so yeah um by the way, I'm just, I mentioned this while I do the wallpaper because the wallpaper is pretty much just the same thing all around. So I decided to increase the size of the house by a lot. And I feel like this was great, but it was also kind of a mistake. Also, this um, design right here with the floor and the leaves with the light, this is a design I'm going to actually use later, but not in this build because I felt like it didn't fit at all, in my opinion, because it was not... It was not a um, very nature house, nature based house. It was a kind of magical based house, and I felt like it took away because it was a um, purple house, and this one is not purple and green. Like that's why I took away the blocks in the first place. And I I looked at it and I was like, no, this is not a good design. So I went with a totally different design, where I made the floor uh, purple and purple, and I actually changed this later and I'm actually going to cut out the entirety of me changing the floor a, a third time because of how um tedious this was um and I felt like it was going to be very annoying to watch me change the floor a third time and I decided to change to white because I feel like white and brown are very good color palette for pretty much any build in my opinion um I use this color palette a lot and I think with the next build I actually try to avoid using white and brown but guess what I use white and brown because I can't stop using the color palette of white and brown um which is it's okay but um it's not the greatest in my opinion um also you probably saw the floor is white now so I used um for the texture pack has a really nice um end stone color in my opinion and I use the end stone I also I also really don't like how the floor turned out like no matter how much I changed it, I really didn't like how the floor turned out. So I decided to leave it here um, with just the white and the purple glass and not bother to change it anymore. Um, I feel like at that point, I'm just going to keep chaining the floor over and over and over again just to make it nice. And it was just not going to turn out nice. I also made some flooring and stairs for the roof and m m uh, mimicking the color palette. Oh my gosh. Uh... I almost messed up my words there. <laughs> and this is another area right here where mobs could spawn in if I didn't light it up. So if you ever want to do a build like this or do the build exactly like how I did it, keep in mind, there's a lot of spaces that um, are completely uh, dark that I didn't light up in this build. And if you ever want to do a build or make the same exact build, light up the areas because trust me mobs are going to definitely spawn um i also changed everything here to match with the roof and um for this roof i actually love how the roof turned out kind of um maybe there's something that i wanted to change but um you guys will see right now i kind of make it like made it like a droopy kind of roof also i saw something on the ground oh no that was a fence gate also by the way i put a fence um if you guys haven't seen it um i put it off screen 
um, because I lost some footage of me doing that. And the reason why was because I have a, um, I had an idea of how I wanted the, uh, the spacing to go because, um, the other house was by like a 40 block sized house, very, very close to 40 blocks. Um, and the back was like 48. So I decided to copy that and have the house go about like 47 blocks. Um, instead of the 48 but I didn't want to make it too big and I wanted to have the same exact spacing so I changed that also you saw the dark in the roof um yeah if you have a big house like this light up everything because you're gonna have like mobs everywhere if you have seen crafty business you will know I keep running into mobs everywhere because I keep forgetting to light up everything um so that that's that's one of my problems forgetting to light up every little spot that is that could fit a mob inside so yeah um so originally for this house i wanted to actually put wolves in each one so you have like one that's purple one that's pink all that kind of stuff i uh, decided against it because i felt like that was a little too much and um here i am doing more of the roof also this was like one of those houses where you can't really have windows so making the um exterior very like not plain was uh going to be a very difficult task because you guys are gonna probably see this later in the video where i'm trying not to um freak out over uh the, the exterior of the house because it was just it didn't turn out right in my opinion um and in the end i got it but still it like it was very hard to make the um uh exterior not look plain and very um uh interesting because um Instead of it just being squares, you know? Um, here I am still doing the roof because I wanted to avoid doing the inside. Because, as I said before, me doing interior stuff was very, very difficult for me. So, I'm just avoiding it at all costs at this point. <laughs> um, I also changed the uh, uh, style here. I wanted to add more, um, less brown on the roof because I felt like it was getting too much. So, I started to add the white um, all the way around, and, um, even though it was pretty much, uh, not that important to the build, like, as you can see here, the, um, the white goes, like, all, like, a bit, there's, like, a big space right there between, um, the entire, uh, flooring and, like, the roof, so I didn't want to work with too much space, so I decided to Try decreasing space as much as possible, but even then I ended up with such a large area to build. So you guys will see how I fill that space in a, in a bit. Um, so here I was trying to add the wallpaper in, um, or just me trying to get rid of as much space as possible, in other words. Um, and this was here when I decided I was going to make a shopping district kind of thing. Because I felt like this was not like a house. It really didn't look that much like a house. Um, I mean, it probably does. I just, I personally think it doesn't. And um, when I was wallpapering the whole thing around, I noticed it was just, there was like so much white around and it was like kind of um, uh, difficult to work with because now we had like little spaces like this where like the concrete was, not the concrete, the terracotta was showing very... Um, uh, it was like very obvious so I decided to go all the way around like this and then I grabbed anvils and end rods and add, add them all around to make it look like it was an intentional design choice but in reality I just had no idea what to do with um with that whole area which um I'm, I'm admitting that because I really didn't um I also was gonna add item frames but I felt like that was a little too much I was gonna add banners and I felt like that was too much so I decided to just add stairs and I, oh, I also tried to add fence gates all around and I felt like that was also too much. Um, so I just added stairs and it was like all the way around. Also in this texture pack, the stairs change only for the, uh, uh, quartz blocks, which I was very surprised by. I think I noticed it before, but I, I, I guess I just never really looked at it, looked at it. So I did that all around and then I started, um trying to figure out what to do for the inside so right here um as you can see i was just looking around everywhere so right here i chained the floor again should have cut that out should have cut that out <laughs> um and i added villagers right here um which in these texture pack are animals and uh 
made like a shopping district right here and i changed the trap doors because i felt like white trap doors would have been a lot better in this area and i had some carpet on both sides and then i started working on the main area so this is where i started to use tan and yeah so this is these were my favorite blocks to use in this whole build um also you're gonna see these end rods disappear at some point i, I have no idea where they went so um if you guys ever see, if you guys could see what happened to them, uh, let me know because I have no idea myself. Um, so I made like a shopping area right here where you just walk in and I was trying to add more end rods but I decided not to. Decided to finish the, uh, uh, just flew around the house. There's a lot of things I can edit out. <laughs> um, too late now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So then I started to chain to add the carpet all around. I actually chained the carpet to a checkerboard carpet because once again, me and checkerboard are the best. Like I love checkerboard designs. And here I add a way into like the little shopping area right here. I add two other areas. I actually was reminded of like Pokemon Coliseum a bit with all the space I had because if you ever played the game, there's one Coliseum in particular that you go inside and it's very um very empty inside and it to me I feel like it was a very like it, it looks very nice in my opinion just being empty like that especially for like a battle area and I wouldn't be able to pull that off without um feeling like it's just way too empty inside the building um so that's what I was thinking about when I made this build because um there's also the I think shops in that same like area where um the shops are shaped like this where they have like one like on each side and that's what I was like thinking about when I was building like this so um I also added pillars right here and I didn't think they looked good like at all so I changed them to be the same uh sandstone um on either side and that looked a lot nicer in my opinion I also added flowers and pots which I did um a while ago and I didn't point out so uh, I, I forgot what flowers I added. Um, I forgot the name of them. I also tr used the coral. Um, I actually wanted to use the coral. And there's a design I actually wanted to use. Also, watch me struggle with water for a bit. Um, there's a design with coral I wanted to use. But I decided to save it for a different build altogether. Um, which you're going to see uh, next week, I believe. And I added the coral there instead. Um, instead of doing the design I was originally going to do, I also wanted to add end crystals. And you're going to see me struggle with this end crystal here multiple times during this build. Because, fun fact, you place them down, they blow up. Also, I had trouble finding the dragon egg. egg so I had, a, I had to spawn one in. So um, I put one on either side. It was looking kind of like an end kind of thing going now. Um, which is purple and um, black. And I decided I wanted to add... Um, some uh obsidian which you're gonna see later on how i added those in um decided to finally finish the the building of this entire area which was very um this was also very tedious to do in my opinion um i also ended up cutting out putting the windows in and i kind of wish i cut out the entirety of me putting all this in because it was just very annoying but the reason why is is because i was going through a different design for the windows um because in this uh, texture pack, the windows are very, uh, very interesting looking. I also noticed that both sides were not even, so I had to change that right there. Um, and <laughs> it was just me putting all of these up. And I decided to add, um, which you'll see right now, slabs to the white area on the roof once I finish all the areas right here. And filling the um, concrete in. So you'll see that right now. Um... And then I do the the windows off uh, off camera because I felt like they were just me experimenting with different ones, and you guys will see that um, in a bit. Also, here is me struggling to put concrete everywhere um, because that that is just how I build. Uh, just lots of brown. Also, here all you saw all the windows. I did not give enough time to look at those though. And I decided to finally add the checkerboard pattern to the carpets. Um, so then now we had like a shopping area upstairs. I decided to fill all the areas in. I completely forgot the whole area did not have like the um, terracotta in. So you guys are going to see me uh, fill terracotta in again. Which is not 
the most ideal thing to do. Next episode, I promise, I'm not going to show uh, me filling this terracotta in. It's a learning process, and I have to agree that uh, this was pretty annoying to watch. Me watching it back is very annoying to watch. <laughs> um, and I've kind of already edited, like, five other stuff. So I'm like, at this point, I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna leave that in. But next episode, I definitely promise I'm gonna edit out all of that. Um, uh, what's it called? The, the Just me placing terracotta. Like, definitely, that's just very tedious and, like, unnecessary to watch. And one of the other things I actually want to edit out or just not do anymore is speed up the video this much because I felt like... Um, when I was showing off the windows, I felt like I gave it enough time to look at the windows, but at the same time, I actually didn't. So, you guys didn't get a chance to see that I made the windows into a heart shape using the glass. So, um, and two circles on either side because I just wanted to add shapes. Um, <laughs> that's all I did was just add shapes. There's no reason to do it. Just added it. Um, I also added blue, red, and purple, uh, glass because I felt like blue and purple mix because, uh, you make might not blue and red mix because you make purple using blue and red so that was um you guys can, didn't get to see that you could, i mean you could kind of see it but not really so s slowing down the video and cutting out these parts right here are a must for the next video which i will definitely do um yeah <laughs> so here we have me finishing off the uh whole terracotta part i'm actually excited for the decorating part because i love how this whole thing turned out. Like, more so than I love how the uh, Siren House turned out, which is incredible in my opinion because I still have trouble filling up, like, a lot of spaces. So, I was thinking about how to do it. I also added a heart in this area, which I and I hated the pink. I really, really hated the pink. And you're going to see me struggling to, to match the heart on either side with this build because I keep messing it up a lot. Like, I elevated it wrong, like, it was supposed to be two blocks up, and then I put it one block up, and made it too small. It was just, it was really bad, in my opinion. Just really, really bad. Um, yeah, that was, that was not, <laughs> that was not my best choice. I also tried to do a different design with it, where I got blue, um, I think concrete, terracotta, just different blocks, yeah, right here. So I'm getting different blocks, I'm trying to change it up a bit. And I also don't like this because it was just, it was too much and it was not, this was the purple house. This is not the blue house. If this is the blue house, this would be very different. And I also wouldn't use this design either in the blue house. So I don't even know why I did it in the first place. <laughs> and like, I didn't even have enough blocks to work with. So I was just basically doing that. And I was like, okay, that does not look right. I decided because um, I feel like I left that, that on screen for way too long than it should have been. Um, I also removed these parts and I, I filled the floor in with, uh, um, like downstairs, the, uh, birch. And I used slabs just to cover the water up and I decided to do that on all sides just to keep it consistent. Um, and this is where I actually really enjoyed myself doing this build because it wasn't involving the, um, terracotta, it wasn't involving the, um, the placing... Uh, here I actually tried to add like little details just to make it look very real, but I was like, no, that is not a good design right there, and that's way too much brown, in my opinion. <coughs> um, so I'm trying to complete the roof again, and um, this is also another thing I should edit out in my videos from now on, because uh, this was also very annoying to watch and for me to do, um, and I felt like this was probably not worth recording that much um so that's another thing unless you guys want to see this in every video but i feel like it this is what took up way too much time in the video at, in general because it was just me placing terracotta for like a good 90 percent of the video um instead of getting instead of getting into the decorating portion which i enjoyed myself so much um and yeah this was just a mess right here <laughs> I also hated how the roof looked. This is where I'm struggling with the roof so much. Um, and the design I went with was a kind of like lopsided design where like the roof was just very droopy looking. Um, because I felt like that kind of looked, that, that kind of matched what I was going for. But uh, right here I'm just struggling to make a roof in general. 
Um, and I didn't really like how I was looking. I keep looking at it. I'm just like, no, no, that's not it. So I went to uh, finish up the inside of the rest of the terracotta. And then we'll never see this terracotta again. I'm hoping that I'm right about that. Because I don't remember what I did with it. No, wait, you guys could, are going to see me chain that heart over there to um, obsidian. Because uh, I feel like that, because I made it look very like, the whole interior have like an end kind of theme so I ended up changing the um whole house to have like obsidian around so you guys are gonna see that right now and here's like the the droopy kind of house I made roof I mean roof droopy kind of roof and um I I love I kind of like how it turned out kind of wish I could have changed it a bit more kind of wish I could have took took away all those like square kind of looks to it and I kind of hope this helped with the square um, a bit, but I, I think it didn't really. <laughs> and then here is me placing more, uh, more planks because that is, that is very interesting to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, just very, very judging myself right now <laughs> for what I recorded and what I chose not to leave in. Um, I'm just thankful, thankful that I decided to take out me replacing the floor because that would have just been even more painful to watch. Um... So this is me doing like the droopy kind of design right here, which I loved in my opinion, but I feel like it wasn't the best roof to go with, but decided not to change it because I was already like two hours in building this and I didn't want to waste any more time because um, I have like more stuff to get to like crafty business and my I'm doing bed wars now. So go check that out. I, you are going to be able to see me get killed multiple times in a bed wars game over and over because that was that was awful I'm really bad at single player <laughs> um and here is just me finishing up the roof which is uh yeah so I, I don't know this design was okay <laughs> it was okay uh by the way I never actually look up things when um, I'm building so everything I do when designing is me thinking okay this might look good okay this doesn't look good and just going for it for about like a couple of uh hours just me um me building <laughs> uh yeah so it's just testing and not liking a design redoing the design and trying again so that's just all it is so once i actually get through all the colored builds i actually want to do other things like um like houses for other people maybe because I actually want to do the house I would live in when I finish all the colored houses. Which I'm very, very, very close to doing. Because I'm actually mixing colors too. Like, white, gray, and black are going to be together in, like, a whole house. Pink, magenta, and red are going to be together in a whole house. And, um, blue, light blue are going to be together in their own house. So it's going to be a bit of a faster process than just me, like, okay, so let's do every single color. Because <laughs> that would have took taken a while tokens not a word <laughs> um so this is me redoing the entire roof again because I was like okay so this design is working just fine so I have to redo the roof and here's me struggling because of the hat that's in the way um also by the way I want to keep these hat designs going so if you know anyone who's interested in a hat house let me know because I want to make hat houses because I find them really fun to make um and I'm actually really excited for the blue house, though, because it's going to be a... I like the hat I did for that house. Um, I'm almost done with this roof. I'm very close to being done with this roof. Uh, that took way too long, in my opinion. I'm definitely editing editing, ed editing these out um, the next time. But it's, it's very... Um, I'm not used to uh, recording like this before. And I'm, I'm barely, like, learning how to edit uh, Crafty Business, so this is a learning experience for myself, and I'm actually really glad that I'm catching these errors instead of just leaving them in permanently and um, deciding to change it in the future instead of just leaving it. So that's 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 good for me. That's that's a growing thing for me that I'm really happy with. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on how I should change these videos, let me know, because uh, it was... Uh, these are just bad in uh, editing skills, and I, I would love 
these these are like my, my first time doing it too so i would love love suggestions on how to fix these um like last video i did get a comment um saying that pointing out that uh the camera is very shaky and i actually um i noticed it but i didn't i hoped that it wasn't too noticeable and i guess it was so i'm gonna actually try aiming to get another account possibly a better computer to handle both accounts and um not and maybe even get a uh uh optifine going and um some uh mods for the future and like other stuff like um uh what's it called shaders because i feel like that would be necessary in future builds um and i actually i'm gonna keep the texture pack though because i love this texture pack um it was something i looked at for a while so and here's me redoing the entire ground to add stairs. Originally, I was going to add a um, pillars coming off the house. But I, at that point, it's one of those things where you have to realize that adding too much is never the best thing. Like, never keep adding. Just, uh, that, that's like, that's one thing I've, I've always known about these kind of things. It's like, never, like, you should add things, but you should never keep adding. Like, you, you should always realize when, like, there's a point when there's, like, enough adding onto a building um or even drawing um because you just keep adding at that point it'll just be very um uh like too, it'll be too much to look at it'll just be hard to look at too much to look at and it'll just feel too much so it's always good to know when to stop adding and this at this point i just wanted to fix the exterior but i knew that there was really not not much i could do and maybe there was i'm not entirely sure still practicing building at this point um so i was just adding little details here and there i forgot to add edin rods all the way around like how i did right here so i forgot to add those in the back um we well, was just gonna pretend i didn't um and then here i was just adding some minor details just to make the the whole house not look as uh square as it is um and i hope that helped a little bit but maybe it didn't <laughs> um and I'm finally going to work on the interior, which is something I'm really, really happy with how it turned out, um, which you'll see right now. Uh, but I feel like there's more I could have probably done with it. It's just at this point, I was, I think I was at the three hour mark at this point because I feel this one took four hours. The Cyan House took one hour because this one I had no idea what I was doing. Because <laughs> um, with the house, you know what you're doing because it's a house. With this one, I had no idea what this was. It was a house with a hat on it, like the other one, but it also had an hourglass. So at that point, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, here I was changing it to add um, fences. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I, I went off right there. <laughs> um, here I was adding fences, and I thought that looked really nice. Um, I was going to consider adding it to the other side, and I was like, no, that's too much at this point. Um, here is where I really loved doing this. Um, I was adding banners and I was adding the flower design. Um, it's actually, no, it was a diamond design I added to this one. And it was added all over the way around. And because I just really loved um, it being like a shopping district. And this was just um, me doing that. I was also going to add water and I was like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. A lot of a lot of never minds to this. I also added shulker boxes, the purple ones. Um to add to the purple design but also just to add like something interesting i also added the item frames with the terracotta me struggling with terracotta and um just to, just to add some like details to it and i started just adding the smaller things here and there um anyway uh <laughs> so then i was changing just the little things around um just to make things just a bit more uh uh matching um, chained the floor too. Made the room a little bit darker, but I, I thought it was okay. Um, because the whole area is lit up by end rods anyway, so. Uh, might have not been good though, in like the sense of, uh, mobs being able to spawn around, but, uh, I'm in creative and, uh, if you have any ideas to, um, add lighting anywhere, that's great. But, um, <laughs> that's great. And I, I will probably take those ideas into account because my, my idea is to, ev to always add lighting but not to make it too obvious because like putting torches everywhere is just too obvious. Um, I finally started adding the obsidian, which you'll see right here. And then here's me making the dumb mistakes of putting those things up 
before deciding I want to change the design and exploding something and me fixing it because I was dumb. Um, I'd probably edit these things out too where I'm fixing it too, um, just to keep things a, a bit faster going. Um, so that's me fixing the glass right there. I'm, you could kind of see the red and blue and purple glass going. So at least that was the only thing that offered it, offered from it. That's not a sentence, but that's okay. So then that's me just fixing everything up on either side and knowing to carry a water bucket just in case I need to change anything about those uh, end crystals. And then I decided to add obsidian. And this was how, oh, and then I had to fix that too. <laughs> so this is how I add the obsidian where I put it on either side like this and I made an ender portal, not an ender portal, um, another portal on both sides. And I thought this looked really nice. And I feel like there's probably a better way of adding it. Um, that was like probably a lot nicer. Um, but I decided not to. Once again, I was like at four hours at this point of me building. Um, so it was just, no. Chain the hearts to um, obsidian. Because I felt like those would look nicer against the uh, bluish purple. And I was like, okay, you know what? That's not, that's not going to fly. So I had to use water. Um... And then there's the changing it on this side as well. <laughs> and let me tell you, this did not take that long. Uh, this took about like five minutes of the build um, because it was just me like realizing like, hey, you know, uh, building the exterior probably took less time <laughs> than everything else, which was true because... Um, Look at this. It, it just, this took about like five minutes of the video. <laughs> so at that point, I, I finally realized I should probably stop um, recording the little parts of me just doing uh, like terracotta or the roof and such. Um, added flowers all the way around. I should have added flowers on top of the and uh, nether portal areas, um, which would have been probably really nice or like maybe um i don't know just some, something on top of them i don't think i added anything on top of them i think i added like no i don't think i added anything on top of them yeah i didn't <laughs> well that's that's interesting um i changed this the circles to uh obsidian as well and then i added like just little things like i added an armor stand on the heart i added a two beds no i think i added four beds i added four beds onto the um you also be seeing me dye these to uh, purple. Uh, me trying to dye the pants because they didn't really change color. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And then me adding that and then adding some beds on either side just to add like, um, like it's like a shop. So it's like, oh, you could buy these things. And then I started adding just like little items and like little areas that you could like buy stuff on, um, which was great to have. <laughs> so... Um, I added it onto the hearts and I have no idea what my thought process was there. Um, so you, I'm going to be changing those um, in a bit. I also added some nether wart growing. Um, I should have added them in the front of the building, but you know, it, it's not really going to change anything now. Added some little stuff going here and there and j just minor things. Um, you can buy purple items. Just... A bunch of purple based items um i don't know why i grabbed an end rod I, I didn't even think i put one on yeah i didn't put one on display um and just adding some light everywhere and that was just the entire room also the water became like that again i was just like i'm not dealing with that again <laughs> so then i uh um just added some trapdoors and i had some flowers and i just re-added the things here and there and just added some more end rods everywhere. But I was just basically finishing up the whole build. Um, including adding some shulker boxes and all that fun stuff. Um, and I was trying to change these things to more purple. But I was like, that's just too much at this point. And here's the finished build. I really love how this turned out. Um... Also, you can see the ender portal through the glass, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, so if you're just looking through, you can just see an ender portal right there. Uh, 
and that's just a whole build the interior is really great in my opinion um the hat ha- i love love hat house designs like this well, i'm going to add hats to every design i i don't care i'm going to do it um you have all the shops um i left the uh pillars there um uh, i should have added villagers around but, uh, that they would just been leaving the area maybe i could have added like no ai villagers but you know and that's just a whole build with all the windows and extra stuff and i really loved it anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed what i did i loved doing it and i'll see you guys um next time uh have any suggestions leave in the comments below subscribe like the video and thank you guys so much for watching